This is Christopher Hawthorne. I'm the architecture critic for the Los Angeles Times, and we're looking at the brand new $350 million federal courthouse that has just opened at the corner of First and Broadway in downtown Los Angeles. It's designed by the architecture firm Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill, and it takes the form of a floating glass cube that's wrapped on all four sides by glass. By far the most dramatic interior element of the new courthouse is this 10-story high atrium that cuts right through the center of the building. It's lined with limestone walls, and it's flanked on either side by offices on the lower floors and courtrooms near the top of the building. Nearly all of the courtrooms are lit by natural light coming from two different directions, from windows behind the judge's bench and from clear story windows at the back of the room. The materials are meant to balance the kind of solemnity that the architects think is appropriate for a legal setting and the kind of crisp modernism that Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill has long been known for, and they decided on a combination of marble and white oak. This is the view from the 10th and top floor of the courthouse, and from here you can really get a sense of how much sunlight comes pouring through the skylight at the top of the building. And you can also see from this vantage point one of the public art pieces in the building. This is a commission by the LA artist Catherine Opie. Uh, it consists of a series of photographs running from the 10th floor down to the 5th, and together they're entitled Yosemite Falls. This is the courtyard at the rear of the building, which is not open to the public, but will be used by jurors and other employees of the courthouse. And from here, there are two things that you can see. One is some landmarks of downtown Los Angeles. You can see the, the LA Times building itself peeking out in one direction and the skyscrapers on Bunker Hill. And you can also really get a sense of this dramatic serrated glass facade that wraps the building on all four sides.